candy. Mm, 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 mm. It's Halloween. Mm, 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 mm. Oh, yes, it is. Yes. I forgot. Trick or treat. Trick or treat. Smell my feet. Give me something good to eat. Okay. What's going on, guys? Dragonheart here. Uh, I could have been talking like that, saying intros and stuff, but decided not to. Um, decided to be awkward and weird. So, guys, here we are on Out of Ore. Uh, another game made by uh, North Modding Company. Uh, I look like an old... Wait. You know, I'm not, I'm not going to say a dang thing. I'm just, no. Um, so, we're just starting the game right now. Can we actually, we can go into first person. Nice, perfect. Um, so, this is home base. And is my game really... Oh, wow. Um, hang on. Setting mouse sensitivity is, like, way the heck up there. Um... Where mouse sensitivity right there. Turn that down, shall we? Oh god, it's still up there. What is up with this? Is there like Oh, that's master sound. Never mind. I'm turning down the wrong thing. Um, I don't think it's field of view. Where's... There's got to be another... Hot bar for this mouse. You know what? I have a funny feeling it's feel of you. Just because. Let's find out. That actually. Okay. That actually slows it down a little bit. Okay. So it's feel the view that we want. And we're just going to drop this right down there. Nope. It's not feel the view. It's not. Nope. Bring that right back up there. That's too close. Too close. Um, so I'm guessing... I'm guessing I don't have a mouse sensitivity. Um, ACL, what's going on? Uh, we're going to be doing some mining, my good man. Uh, once I get things situated here. Uh, first time playing the game, so... I just downloaded it. Just came out today. 
I've had this game on my radar from the first North Modding Company's game. Uh, this is a single player game, it's not a multiplayer game. But it's. I'm, I'm gonna have to welcome. This is to help. Da, 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 yep. Thank you. I just. This can. You know what? Let's turn on. Can I play with my controller? Okay, that's that's much better. I'm gonna play with the, my controller here. So as I was saying, home base here. This is the uh, cell point for our ore. Just dump it in there. I believe that's the cell point because it says cell point. Big big bold sign right there. Um. Left. Oh, okay. So we can smooth out the ground. I'm not too worried about smoothing out ground right now. Um, action. Okay. So here we are in the home base. Hey, is there some lights? Is there a light switch? Guess not. We got all these pretty, pretty buttons. Look at this. You know, this is actually very well done. Okay. I swapped over. Okay, so where are we? We're in the bank option. Found my jump. Okay, so what do we do inside the bank here, buddy? Buckaroo. Um. It's going to be fun because uh, <laughs> I have found out that not all my functions on my controller functions everything. So it looks like we're going to be finding a way to take a loan out and like that. I mean, look at how much money you can take. I mean, this is $42 million for 60 duration and 60 days. Daily cost? Oh my gosh. I mean, if you found the right spot, sure. What? So I'm guessing since I only have 600 bucks. Uh, no, I don't want to sleep. Um, I guess we're going to have to take out a loan for something. Not knowing how much vehicles are, uh, we're just going to start off with that, 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 that. That's a huge amount of daily cost here. I want to start off with just 100,000, you know. But I don't know how much the vehicles are. So we'll, we'll say this account is like a test account is what we'll do. So, we'll take a $2 million. I really don't want to, but I'm going to have to. Oh, that's going to drive me crazy with the mouse. Okay. Oh, here we go. Um, so, excavators. This, these ones come with a bucket from the looks of it. I'm hoping the others come with buckets. Just me, or are they just going up in price? They are. The higher the price, the better the machine. Alright, so... We'll just... There's buckets and like that. Bulldozer, dump trucks. Okay, so... We're just going to purchase you... Um, I guess I gotta buy a loader now, so we'll purchase. I guess I purchased the wrong one. I bought an excavator for no reason. 
But you know what? That's okay. Come on. All right. Let's see here. Lights. I want to turn them on. I don't want to... Can I can I run the camera? No. Um, that's gonna be a little sketchy running from up here. See, I can't even turn the camera, which is kind of I feel is a little on the annoying side, to tell you the truth. Thought I'd dig some more already. Did I not dig ore? Yeah, I can already see this whole camera routine is going to annoy me. Um, yeah, it's an interesting game. I can tell you that. Um, it's got some uh, bugs that I really would like fixed. And that's not being able to use the camera in cap. right now this whole camera thing is getting on my nerves a little bit because I if I'm walking around and about I can move the camera around as we all saw at the beginning of the game um, We're going to say hello to the hillside here in a couple minutes. I don't even know what I'm stuck on. To tell you the truth.
The controls are very, ugh, very uh, sensitive. I can definitely say that. I don't even know if this is really where it goes. Uh, just dump, please. Uh, as you can see, the ground has uh, deformed a little bit underneath. You know, what? let's uh, let's exit, exit here because this is now lifted up in front. So, uh, left mouse button to flatten ground. Okay. Well. kind of nice and all to be able to flatten ground that's cool yeah because I can control the camera this way but in here I can't and I tell you what I'm trying to use uh, the mouse for uh, Running the bu bucket loader is kind of a pain. Hey, no. go this route can we ah uh, that's gonna drive me crazy but we've been digging ore Have I been digging ore or have I just been digging dirt? Betcha I've just been digging dirt.
I have come to terms with, uh, I'm glad I can do this, because that's kind of nice. Just come out and flatten everything like I have an sh invisible shovel. Fine tune the road, I guess. Make it look like I'm adding dirt back into, uh, back into mayhem. <laughs> Yeah, the whole camera is is what's actually getting on my nerves right now. Um, And not knowing if I'm actually digging up ore, or is it if it's just ground. Yeah. Yeah, like the camera, I can't do anything with the camera. So having no control over the camera inside the cab Oh, come on. Oh, I see how it is. Really? So in order to control the camera, I have to swap um, work functions.
Really? So yeah, my phone's going off for no point in reason. Yeah, well, It would be nice for them to tell me what I have for ore. Well, there we go. We got some ore. Kind of wish that road path was not so uh, narrow. I actually kind of wish my camera was more centered. Wow, poor scooping. So yeah, there is some, uh, can I? Um, hang on, I need to figure that out. Which button is the speed control? Switch camera C. Yep, I already know that. that, 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 that. Hold the rotate. What? Okay. Hmm. 
This is the only option I have at the moment to do this. Don't go digging down so dang deep. Oh my gosh, that's so annoying. I can't even get out of the hole. That's because of uh, how deep this dang thing went. You're very, very welcome, damn machine. Can we please get out of the hole? Please? I'm done with this. Is there like a diff lock or something? Come on. So I have come to terms with the whole switching of speeds. But yeah, the camera the camera just needs to uh, be addressed. Like I kid you not. Yeah, I've I dropped all my load down there.
I don't know, maybe I'll get used to it, guys, if I play the game a little more. Um. Like, as you can see, I practically picked up nothing from doing what I just did. And of course, I can't. Hey, Henry, what's going on? Um, kind of spamming there, aren't you, bud? Okay. Yeah. I swear, I gotta get out down there and flatten all that, because that's getting, that roughness is just getting annoying. Tell you the truth, the camera's getting annoying. <laughs> That was a poor scoop. Yeah, I'm, I'm just losing. I'm losing product at this moment. Um. If you guys give me just a couple minutes, I'll be right back.
All right, I have returned. Sorry about that, guys. All right, so we're gonna do. I I really wish I could do something with this camera. Um. Uh, let's see. Q. So looks like there's mission. Uh, drive to the pit and fill the bucket with ore. Okay, I've already done that. Like multiple times. Kinda would like to, uh... There. Alright, let's try this again. Turn on the lights. Uh, let's swap over to hair mode, turtle mode. Take off the brakes. Uh, let's tip our camera down a little bit here. There we go. Wonder if I just haven't found the proper ore or something. I don't know. Whoops, pressed the wrong button. Yeah, I got not a clue, guys. The tutorials kind of, I feel like it's glitched or I'm just not finding um, the right, what it wants. To tell you the truth.
What am I? I don't get it. I really don't get it. Like, the game seems about correct. You take a loan out, you get equipment, and as you guys can see, I got, like, bump kiss from doing all that. That's, like, bump kiss, bump kiss, bump kiss, bump kiss. I really don't understand this at all. See, this one's... I don't understand the... F I really don't... I don't understand... The meaning of you just... I mean, I've filled up the bucket I don't know how many times. I mean, yeah, we're making money, but the problem is it's not what I want. Because at this moment, it's just me taking this. And coming down into this hole that I have dug. This monstrosity of a pit. Where it has my marker. But what I think of it's asking for an ore is this one right here. The discolor the dis difference within the stone. I feel like that's the ore that it's looking for. Like a big scoop of that. I swear I'm just gonna grab a dump truck and do it, cuz... I heard that or I glitched something out when I got the uh, excavator.
Well, that was definitely no ore in that. Oh, come on. I'm losing some product here. Getting any ore out of that? Not bad. But I still... Still don't understand. Why? Ugh. Okay, it is official. I hate, um, bucket loaders in this game. Either that, or it's just the way I have the controls set up. Not really sure. Oops, I forgot the lights were on. Hey, no. No. Ugh. 
Why do you have to start off when I don't want you to? So, yes. I have come to terms of L excavator bucket loader routine. Um, deliver fuel, deliver fuel, deliver fuel, deliver materials. See, I just don't understand why this one's not, this tutorial's not moving on. It's kind of driving me bonkers. Um, because here's fuel. This must be where we get fuel and stuff. I don't think you can use anything else in here except for coming over here, grabbing your bank stuff, come over here and use the computer to buy your equipment. If I wanted to, I could buy a bucket, a dump truck. Here's a fuel truck. Uh... Press the wrong button yet again. General store. Hello. Okay, so this is where we get our parts. Extract pad. Small, medium, large. Extra large. DX track. Oh, so these are excavator pads. Okay. Um, lights. GPS. Paint jobs. And house construction building areas. Auto lights. Hello. That's kind of cool to get. So you can build your own garage door. TNT. Dynamite. Um... So yeah, you can build your own structures, which is great, just like you can do in the other game. Chain tires for rock tire. No, it must be for rocky terrain. Loader tires, yep. City tires, dual truck tires, single truck tire. So yeah. I keep pressing the wrong button here. This is the company bank. This is where we take out loans, where we pay back our loan. Which we definitely need to work on that as quick as possible. So, with that said, I am done playing in a gigantic hole that I have created for now that tutorial mission I have no idea what is going on with it but I'm done playing in there I 
think I'm gonna dig this out instead of playing in there. Wow, that, that's pathetic. Thirteen tons of nothing. So far, to tell you the truth, graphics aren't as bad. Um, they're not as bad as the last game. I'm expecting them to get a little bit better. Anything? No. Okay, so this spot is a complete dud. Anything? Okay, one second. Turn this off. And turn off the lights. So anything within this colorization of dirt is nothing but just that, dirt. And I'm glitching all about. No idea why, but I'm glitching. The ore that we are looking for is probably this colorization in stone. So anything probably with that colorization is the ore we are looking for. Since I am calling this my tutorial um, world for right now, trying to learn this lovely, lovely new game of ours. We're going to come in here. And we're going to just purchase a dump truck. Because I... I'm getting tired of this. Whoops. Come on. I keep hitting that button. All right, we're getting places, guys. We're learning stuff. gonna take this dump truck yeah see it's too too steep for the dump truck so I'd be losing half of my load
Out of my way, bucket loader. You're a pain in my backside. Park that, turn that off. Getting this. Take off the parking brake. And what I'm understanding is in, we are in like a remote area. So all the equipment is helicoptered to us. That is my understanding of everything. Like I said, controls are very sensitive, on the, either on your keyboard or your controller. Hello, okay. Ugh. Yeah, this is going to be a little experience for me, guys. Um, the way they have the way the controls are just I got to get kind of used to them here. But don't worry, I'll get I'll get used to them eventually. Um, back myself up here. I gotta. What controls what here? Okay, that goes that way, that goes this way. Nope, nope, come on. Yeah, there's going to be a big pile of heaping mess. Just because I don't know... I can't remember controls very well.
Like I said, it's going to take me a little bit. But I'll get it. Come on. Whoops. Knocked that one out of the ballpark. Am I getting in? It's like, where the heck's the entrance to this dang thing? Hello? Thank you. Oh, that's gonna be annoying. All right. So yeah. I have come to terms that the discoloration in 
the lovely ground is none other than the ore that we need to produce stuff. Now on the other note is I kind of wish there was a map. Because I know in the other game there was a map. But I don't see a map um, indicator. And I have pressed practically every button in the game thus far to see if I would pull up a map. And nothing pops up. But as... Okay, falling trees, I guess. Let's fall. There goes another one. But as you can see, guys, there is plenty of stuff. There is a place over there. You know what? We might hike ourselves over in that direction just to see what that structure is. Um, I'm not going to care about the mission, the uh, tutorial mission. Um... There are a whole lot of mystery trees just randomly falling through the map. Um, I'm going to actually have to... Are these supposed to be like indications of his roots that he made prior? I mean... I know they fall through the map when you change the... Uh, when you take the ground out from under them. But other than that, uh, I think that's like a, uh, I think that map issue, um, I really do. So I'm going to have to send them a, either that or hopefully they, they're they watching this video um, and see this. Because that, that actually should not be happening. I mean, it's only a certain amount in, of them. And I'm wondering, I don't know what the meaning is. Of it? I really don't. Like, look at that. That wasn't even... That was a dead tree and it went through. Alright, that building is right here. Okay. Just had another tree go through right next to me. I feel like it's sort of a route that they took. So, company mining equipment... Corp. That's actually part of my company, or the company that we're in. I just, I don't know what this is for. It's probably like a radar base, a beacon thing, you know, something like that. Um, let's actually, let's see if it tells us how to find ore. Hello. Yeah, so, um... Kind of wish I could scroll in on that. So yeah, there's a drill device to find ore. Different types of ore. Er. So, yep. Uh different colorization in the rocks the earth colorization is ore as well our inventory that we were just talking about earlier uh the rigs buying from the store vehicle controls press e to enter the vehicles yep uh start beacons
vehicle attachments. You can deattach, detach and reattach stuff, change things up, vehicle gears, lights. Uh, the building concept of everything. Which is something that I would love to get into a little bit left. Refueling, of course, we have to keep an eye on our fuels, sources. Time lapse, uh, cameras. Oh, you can re... Oh, that's cool. You can record yourself in game or take pictures. That's neat. So, on that note, there's a whole lot going on here, of course. This game has quite a lot of potential. I'm, I'm loving the game. I love the last game he made. Uh, that game, unfortunately, needs uh, a massive update for multiplayer. He's been, as far as I know, he's been waiting for a program... To put in the game to make it function properly. So that game went down. He turned it into this game. And this is a single player game. Unfortunately. I mean it could. He could easily turn this into a multiplayer. I mean it's not that. It's not going to be that hard. He just needs the program. But all these trees that are just randomly falling through the map. I'm, I'm not sure if that's just a map glitch a texture glitch um not quite sure and truth be told i think i feel like i'm the first one to be streaming this game so if he's actually watching he's probably taking this into account and you know what yeah look at that just way too many textures just randomly too many trees just randomly going through the games mapping meshing and everything else Unless, you know, I wonder if it's a time thing within the tree life. I wonder if they're just randomly dying and they just fall through the map. And then we'll just randomly reappear later on. That'd be kind of cool and kind of awkward. Hey, Steve. Um, this is uh, Out of Ore is the name of the game. It's made by Northern Modding Company. They made another game prior in the prior within the year, year or two ago, maybe three. Um, North Modding Company is actually um, very well known for their mods within Farming Simulator. Uh, their skitters, uh, some other equipment and like that. And they decided to make their own game. That game was. It had a lot of potential, a lot of, uh, but a lot of bugs. An enormous amount of bugs. Um, what irritated me the most was not the bugs. It was actually just them uh, changing how the game was played. Um, I know they were trying to find a perfect format and like that to play the game, but... The, just the constant changing kind of annoyed me about it. Uh, this one's... Uh, cancel that. I accidentally hit sleep. I didn't want to hit sleep. Uh, excuse me. This one's actually fairly fairly good. Um, hey, listen here. I want the store. I want a bulldozer. Don't know why I want to bull... Do we get a grader? Ooh, we can get a grader. But no. Q. 
keep pressing the wrong button. All right, back to our task. See, I feel like that's just gonna be too close. But I'm not going to complain. Dang, damn it. push the tree over there we go see that's normally what would happen when uh, you hit the tree it would fall through the map and stuff like that Nope. Don't be tipping like that. I've also noticed that my game is lagging quite well at this given time. I think it's because uh, of something to do with the quality, I'm not sure. No, let's try something. We're going to go in here to our settings and we're going to bring the graphic shadow down to high just to see if uh, the game will run a little bit smoother. I kind of wish it would turn into dirt in the truck.
Ho, ho. Ho! No, no, come on. Oh, gosh. That was close, guys. I undermined it. Was not paying attention very well. Peanut butter box is here. Oh, come on. Thank you. I think I've gotten everything I can with this in this spot. See, that's the only thing that's irritating me right now. is that most of our product has ended up on the ground. And of course we're just, as I press uh, left trigger, it's just pushing it right back down in. Or it just brings it right back up. But. 
Right, we're gonna do this. We're gonna sleep through the day, the night, see what happens. As we can see, that mission is now gone. Okay. That's cool. The mission's gone. Nice. Kind of like it. But it's still there. We can, uh... Easily do this one. Like, this one's still, I guess, active. Either that or green says that they're good to go. And... Hey, Fire, what's going on? Uh... I don't know how long I've been streaming for already. For almost two hours, nice. Uh, has somebody taken, oh, okay. Oh, Jesus. No idea what I just did. That was kind of cool, I guess. Alright, so, now that we've done that, I kind of want to try and make this place a little wider. Um, maybe get rid of some of this, use some of this dirt. <laughs> Like right here, this, this is a different d colorization of gravel. So ground or gravel, whatever, whatever you guys like to call it. Uh, it's about the same thing. So I want to say this is like another source of material. I'm cheating a little bit, smoothing out the ground. Uh, as you guys can see, there's like a little tire mark over here. I have yet to drive a single vehicle over to this side of the map. But what I want to kind of do is try and make a road over to that other location. So that's going to be kind of fun to try and do. You know what? Let's check out the store. Is there a way to... I know there's a way to run. I know my buttons there. No. Okay. Can I... Let's check this place out. Nope, not you. Uh, that's the bank. I don't want the bank. Nope. General store, thank you. I want the building section. Wood block. Steel beams. Uh, concrete floor. Steel floor, wooden floor, concrete roof, steel roof, steel roof, concrete wall, steel wall, wooden wall, window, detonator, <coughs> <coughs> excuse me, TNT, uh, transport, transport up, transport left, transport right, jaw crusher, Cone crusher, sorting drum, big hopper, small hopper, So yeah, we could easily make like our own little uh, crusher. I wonder if that increases the capability. Uh, Matthew, what's going on?
You know, I'm not gonna lie. There is, it's, the controls are, the controls could be a little bit better. Um, especially with the mouse. I mean, I can't even turn down the sensitivity of the mouse. Um, I feel like, I feel like he's trying, he's getting somewhere, but it's just, it's not very, uh, very fast. Um, I don't, I don't expect high quality game right off the bat for most things, especially, uh, when did, when did he announce that he was putting this out? I feel like the game was, the game is, the map is the same as the original, there goes another one, is the original game. I feel like it's just a replaced map. That's what I feel like it is. Um, don't get me wrong, it's just, it feels like it's the original map, just retextured a little bit. Because I feel like I've seen the scenery before, to a point. You know, how, how, let's find out. Yeah, I couldn't get the draw. I'm using a controller right now. This is what I'm using. This is a controller speed. I use the controller. There are some things I have to... I'm still figuring it out with the controller. There go some more trees. I'm, I'm kind of getting annoyed with the tree thing. Um, The one thing... Oh, hello. Okay. I figured that out. That's good. So I can control the groundwork at least with my controller by pressing A. I can live with that. That's good. I figured that out. Not too happy about it, but okay. I can live with it. Alright, um... Now that I've gotten sidetracked... What was I gonna do? Oh, yes. Uh, bulldozer. Do I want to buy a bulldozer? I still need to pay off this loan. Don't think I'll ever get this loan paid off at this rate. I really don't. Well, at least he's got the date correct. November 3rd, 2022, since I've already gone past November 1st, which is actually tomorrow. So... I severely need to get that paid back. I don't know. Trying to make a lot of money in this game this way, the way that I've already started the game out. Um, I think it's kind of a little on the rough side. Um, I mean, when you start the game, they have it so you buy a bucket loader. You come down to this lower section to try and get to this or here. Um, I mean, it would be easier just to dig your way around and come get this little bit that's sitting in this section here. I don't know. I don't. I don't really know if it's if you actually need a bucket loader to do this. Just. Because right now, to me, I feel like the whole um, throwing everything into, like, little dine, tiny balls of clumps of balls, it's just, it's not sitting in the dump truck very well. 
Most of them will roll out. You'll get like one or two scoops in, then you can go somewhere and be fine with it. Um, the bucket loader, you know, it's kind of... Not really, I'm not really sure on how I want to say about the bucket loader. Because, I mean, I feel like the bucket loader has some poten potential but the controls if you're not able to stare at the angle of this bucket it becomes a chore and then when you start digging into the ground even with my high power PC that I got going on right now it is drastically um, testing my PC's uh, abilities nope 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 I can't see and of course, as you can see, low on fuel. That's the other thing that I don't like. Um, is you have to in order to see anything you have to get in here just to see anything Yes, I can agree with the voxel lag. It's it's unreal. Um Like as soon I really I don't understand the whole product into a tiny little ball of ore. Um the last game when it just filled up the bucket into a nice little dirt pile that was a lot better than what's going on now. Because right now, it's just, as soon as I create, like, a little dirt pile, it's just going to, the voxel is just massively unwanted. Because right now it's just, it's lagging my computer. And I got a pretty good gaming PC. I mean, oh, this is.
I mean, yeah, it's great that they have great models of the equipment and like that. But I just wish they would uh, focus a little more on the actual game. Just a little bit. I mean, they have, like, the games could be pretty good if they just worked on them a little more. on you're gonna hit it nope perfect <sighs> normally I would not leave that up there but I mean, for me, I think I'll give the game like a three out of, what, three out of five? Maybe a two out of five at the moment. The way the game sits at this given time, um, that I think would be my score at the moment. Uh, like, probably, I know for a fact that the models of the equipment is pretty good. The details... The details are somewhat there. I mean, I know they're get. I know it's probably just early access. I didn't really look... Um, when I re-grabbed the game. Uh, I do know when their updates, programs, and like that. For the last game comes up... They're, the people that originally have the original game will be getting the updated version for practically free from what his lovely tale has told. Um, I'm not going to hold my breath to it. I hate I hate to say it, but I'm not going to hold my breath. I really am. Um, I really feel like their game's... They're, I feel like their games can actually go somewhere. It's just they need to put the time and effort into them. Because the vehicles are there. Let's face it. The vehicles are 100% there. Uh, 0 0.5 out of 5. Uh, I mean, if you really want to go that far, yes, I will agree. If... If you want to go that far, I will agree. Um, I'm being generous just because of the quality of the vehicles, the buildings. Um, buildings, I want to say, can, they could probably do some work. Um, I mean, it's a great idea with these things. I really didn't do much of the building factor in the last game because, let's face it, they kept on um, messing with it. Um... Truth be told, maps, the map is, the map is the map. Uh, I feel like the map is still, like I said, the original map. That's the way it feels to me. I'm glad that it's wide. There's a ton of space to do stuff in. It's the whole pixel, pixel crash. The pixel ordeal that's getting me. The pixel and 
not being able to adjust um, like the mouse speed sensitivity um, like you said you can't get your joysticks to work um, I really right here is all your joystick stuff but the problem is all this I feel like goes to your controller but here's the controller setups so I feel like I feel like these are more for actual joysticks but I really I don't know I have the heavy equipment pack for farming simulator I'm gonna fight feel see if this will actually function the last game I could not get it to work on. I don't think I'm going to be able to get it to work on this one. I'm not sure. But that's something I'm going to play with off camera. And see what I can do. I also feel like I need to revert my... See which controls I normally use better. I think I, the SAE is the one I normally use. You know, that's that's actually probably true. Let's let's take a gander, shall we? Um, let's take a quick gander. I think it was released as a full release. Yeah, it is. It is a full release game. Um, Hotfix. Okay. So apparently, before he released it, there was like a hot fix to the dirt, um, from the looks of it. But like I said, I, this game—it's just the whole voxel, voxel, uh, voxel, yeah, voxel. The voxel with the dirt quality is just driving me kind of crazy. I really don't think he could have needed the whole routine of going to a uh, ball-like shape, but I'm not going to, I'm just going to live with it for now. I'll live with it for now, see what he does within the future updates. Uh, I don't know how many videos I will do of this game. I will probably do random videos of the game. Uh, probably if there's any updates, I'll do updated videos of the game. Uh, there's other games that I'm going to probably be playing. I know most of my guys want to watch, uh, Railroads Online. That may be coming back, or I might be going to Loco. Uh, I don't know how many people remember Loco. Why am I pressing that button? Now, there's got to be a button here to release the bricks I mean come on you would think you know I really would like to know what my pads would be used for I kind of hate having to get in here to press the brake button just to move the brakes Before I even start digging, the uh, whole voxel thing is... Yeah, that's completely getting out my computer.
Yeah, I can agree. Um, whoops, hit the dump truck. I really gotta organize the trucks. I mean, if you get the game for free, yeah, it's one of those ordeals where it's like, hey, you get this, it's perfectly fine. This is the part that's annoying me is that my game is lagging as I'm pushing in to get stuff. And I can't really take the graphics much lower. I mean, I have a funny feeling if I'm if I'm not streaming, the game will probably run a lot better. Um, I don't know, know I don't know what it is, but lately, um, streaming with Streamlab and YouTube, it's nothing wants to sync up very well. I don't know what it is. Like, as long as I'm not digging, the game runs fine. But as soon as I dig, the game, like, lags for me. I guess you could call this a game if you want to just sit around, do nothing for a little bit. Like one of those type of games where you just want to fool around. Nothing, no ordeal, nothing to hold you back from doing anything. Stuff like that, you know? Yeah, um, I think that's, I think that's one thing he's gotta, 
definitely address is the voxel issue. Because as soon as I dig in, it's just overwhelming my PC. And I really don't know why. On top of that, he could probably lower, take the ramp and move it out just up a little bit <laughs> on here. I feel like it's still too a little steep to be a ramp. I bet you that's just like a roof piece placed to be a ramp. Other than that, I feel like, yeah, just do a little more work on the game, and he might really have something. Don't worry about the vehicles. The vehicles are kind of there. Dump trucks, I really, I think it should go back to dirt form when it's in the dump trucks. Not stay as little tiny balls. Hell, I think as soon as it goes in, gets into the buckets, I really think it goes, should go back to dirt form. I really do. Uh, or at least rock form something. Because they really, they don't like to stay in there at all. They just, once in a while you'll have them fall out. And yeah. Oh, look at that. That cloud's kind of a little on the green side. You know, in the last game, didn't he have the Aurora Borealis come through the game a little bit? I wonder if he has that in here, but I don't really see it. I haven't seen it since I've been playing in it. Makes me kind of curious. But, other than that, guys, um, we'll probably ponder on this game a little bit more. We'll see what he does, see what happens. Uh, hopefully, it just does not become a dead game. Because he kind of ended up doing that. I kind of don't want him to do what he did with the last game. And do, save the updates for like months, years on end of no updating. I kind of want him to stay on top of it. Which would actually be nice. I really... Oh, hello. Speaking of Aurora Borealis. Speak of the devil. That's nice. Yeah, at least brought that, kept that within the map framing, I guess. Yeah, I really feel like this is the same map. That's it. I'm going on the next, on the old, old game, and I'm going to take a look at it. And take a picture, and then put the two pictures side by side. I bet you it's the same terrain and everything else. I bet you it's also the same starting area as well. The only difference is partially cut out with a building. I think that's the only difference. Oh, and besides the other building that is sitting over there? Somewhere? I know it's over there because we walked over there. It's probably because I took the graphics down so you can't really see. Oh, there goes another tree. You can't really see it. Of course, I just heard money come. Oh, there it is right there. But also, I've also noticed if your graphics are set to a certain spot, there's discoloration in the hillside already that you can notice. So you might find some more in those spots if anybody plays the game besides us. Um, 
and I, the trees are driving me crazy just watching the trees just fall right through the map. That That's driving me nuts. It really is. Oh, look, even a stone did it. Oh, there's another building down there, too. Right off in the distance. Okay. So I'm, I'm guessing the buildings are like outposts to connect up to this one. And I guess on an update, because, I mean, this says control room. Oh, okay. Never mind. Yep. Uh-huh. Hang on. Let's look at this. Okay. Hello, Moto. Gold. Ruby. Lithium. Platinum. Okay. Solid rock, dirt, value, nothing. Okay. So this tells us the value of everything that we've put in there. Somehow I found coal. That's kind of neat. You know, for a control room, that's really not what I had in mind. I thought it was going to be like a control room for like a crusher or something. Can we sit on the couch? No. Can't sit on the couches. So bank, store, vehicle store control room which actually tells you everything that you've delivered from what I'm understanding and random weather of rain or snow I wonder if anything actually piles up when you get to a certain time of year like when we get into December I wonder if we're going to have like the whole entire ground is going to be snow covered See, that's, but yeah, but all right, guys, I want to thank you all for watching this first episode of Out of War. Uh, Matthew, thank you for putting in your two cents of the game. It's more than welcome. At least I'm not the only one that's following him and trying to figure out his methods of what he's trying to do. Ugh. Paper. I hate pa I hate paper straws. All right, let's uh, we'll save the game. I'll start up another game for myself to try and play the game, and we'll just continue working off from this one for the videos. That is my method. But all right, guys, we will see you all on the next episode of Out of War. Hopefully it doesn't take me too long. And hopefully it does another update soon. Because, let's face it, the voxels are going to get us. It's going to drive us insane. I mean, the game plays great. It's just the voxels when you're digging into the dirt. I mean, but we'll see what he does. Until then, guys, have a good one.
perfect timing, huh? I guess if you want to call it perfect timing. I won't be on tomorrow. I'm gonna go get quiet too for a move, so I won't be able to talk. <laughs> 